Guys, I am reviewing the Ford Ranger Raptor, which is the beefed up version of Ford's Ranger pickup line. To put it in perspective, you know how you guys have Lancer EX and then there's Evo 10? So this is the Evo 10 of the Ford lineup. This is a proper, proper badass off-roader pickup truck. Just look at it. Everybody, I'm not joking, everybody looks at it at least once and we'll show you. It has a big statement grill from Ford for aerodynamics. It has some blocked off areas. You have a big off-road chin and guys, this car is tall. Just look at the height. My waist is the hood line of this car. You have nicely sculpted 3D design headlights and the whole thing just flows. You can see nice integrated fog lights. And if you move down, you can see the sturdy suspension setup from Fox Shocks. With an independent multi-link and at the rear, they have coil springs now instead of leaf suspension. This is proper badassery. You have big off-road all-terrain tires, which are 16 inch. And guys, I've driven this on the road and off-road. There's no difference. The handling is amazing. How did Ford do all this on this car? With this car, you can jump. You can actually jump when you're reviewing the car. You have big footsteps that has Raptor emblem and this decal. This also comes in blue. This is a brilliant color on the car. I'll, I will show you something under the hood first. There you go. Hood struts. Nice touch. A very nicely laid out engine. And why does this car drive so well? Because the engine is placed further back. Look how close the engine is to the firewall. The center of gravity is really good and that increases the driving pleasure. You also have everything covered because you're supposed to take this car underwater till this much because the air intake is here. So water will get in from here, but you can go underwater till this much. And this is a tall car. I'm a tall person. Easily. We move to the side and we see the design language of this car. They've made the fenders a bit more fatter than the normal Ranger, which is nice. It adds to the effect of the car. Here at the back, you can put a tonneau cover on, but I prefer to keep my pickups this way, where you can carry more cargo and the loading bay is there. It's just nice. Everything just flows. And you have two, two trailer hooks. You can, you can tow your trailers. You can tow a truck. You can tow anything with this car. Fox Shocks. They are what changed this car. Full-size spare wheel. A full-size spare wheel. Ford did an amazing job with this car. You also have parking assist sensors on all four corners. And the back camera is nicely put down here. Yeah? So that's good, right? In the interior of the Ford Ranger, it's uh, very simple very easy to use. We will start with the steering wheel. So you have all your uh, controls on the left and right hand side. The cruise control is redundant in our country, as you can see from the flow of traffic. But you have a mode selector here where you can select all the driving modes. And an interesting driving mode after the sport is the Baja mode. Baja is a rally event where you are sliding and slipping all over the sand and it's a competition and something I want to mention is this bolt here when you're off-roading you don't know which when the wheels are straight or not this is a reference for you to know when the wheels are straight since this is a bi-turbo diesel that means two sequential turbos are mated together to work at low rpm both spool and at high rpm the low pressure turbo spools to provide effective boost this is a technology that is a very class leading for a diesel vehicle and this car produces 500 newton meters of torque. That's, that's a lot of torque. Uh, to put it into comparison, that's more, t that's like the torque of five Toyota Axio or Corollas put together. On the right hand side, you see another option menu, which uh, shows all the assist settings and everything, the fuel economy and all of that. Then you have a nice center console here with an infotainment system, which is top screen. This is Sync 3 technology from Ford. So that's pretty good. And then you have all your simple to use buttons here. 
since this is uh, a pickup truck, they did not, you know, it, it's supposed to be simple. Even the Mercedes X Class, which is a pickup truck, is very simple to use. And the buttons are big because people who usually buy pickup trucks are, you know, they work hard with their hands. Like, they work with raw tools. So they wear gloves all the time. So they can use it with ease. You have two USB ports. You have the traction control button here, the diff lock, the hill descent button, and the four wheel drive selectors, the four high and the four low. And you see all these blue stitchings that are Raptor special. The seats are very nice. The seats are actually nice. They are not too buckety because pickups should be able to fit fat people. And it's a very simple interior. It's to the point. And in sport mode, this car does zero to 100 in 10.5 seconds. Now you might say, oh, 10.5 seconds is a long time. Well, it's not for a truck of this size, trust me. They come with big chunky tires, but on-road performance is pretty, pretty great. Now, I want to say one thing. Ford did not make this car to be driven on-road. This car was made to be driven anywhere and everywhere. Now, I will, I will take a bend in the front in sport mode. This car has one of the best shock absorber systems that money can buy for trucks. It has, instead of leaf suspension at the back, it has spring coil suspensions. Even at the front, it has independent multi-link suspension. And I will, I will just take this corner and I will take it fast. And you can see, this is a truck. This is the handling of a truck. That's how good it is. And it's bouncy too. Now, as I was saying, this car was not built to be driven like nicely and smoothly on the roads. This car was actually made to be driven wildly. I mean, you should be able to go anywhere and everywhere with this car. So I want to do that. I want to go anywhere and everywhere with this car. I don't want this car to be driven slow. I want this car maybe to go into this construction site on the left. Sorry Ford, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And we did. So I will just drive this car now in Baja mode and I will slippy, slidey and sandy here. I will put the traction control off and now I will drive it the way it was meant to be driven. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Hello. I'm so sorry. But you know, this car goes everywhere, so I have to. Look at all the dust at the back. Oh, this car is good. Chalo, 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 chalo. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing for the shocks of this car. Nothing for this car. I will tell you a little bit of truth. I came today, this morning, to scout this location with my Land Cruiser V8. And it wasn't as smooth as this car did it. So you can imagine how good this car is. You have eight way driver adjuster seats, they're automatic. And this is a nice touch for a pickup truck. Like you know how you want your seats to be. So I'll put go back to sport mode. We should talk about the price of this car now. So this car costs about 97 lakhs, which uh, in your perspective might be a lot because it's a lot of money for a pickup truck, but it's brand new and it's a special edition pickup truck. It's not your average pickup truck. You have vanity mirrors here, also vanity mirrors there, and you have a sunglass holder here. That is pretty good, right? And you have climate control aircon, dual zone on this car. So that, that's pretty nifty, right? I'm not going to go into shallow details like I do in other reviews. And there you have a glove box and an additional space to keep your booklets and stuff. I love big cars. I love how they feel on the road. Now, let's see how the turning radius is. From first lane, we turn. Oh no, we go into the third lane. Now, now this car is a looker. Everybody looks. So that was a horrible turning radius. Now, for my ultimate Baja off-road test. One thing this car has is a very nice back camera. Now, you absolutely need this for a pickup truck. There's no other way. Now, 
we're going to climb down on an angle and it's pretty steep but should be nothing for this car absolutely nothing for this car now do you see that strip of road this is my Baja road now I'm going to do my Baja bit with this car let's go to Baja mode there you are and now let's go so one interesting thing I would like to say is we can do 0 to 100 in 10.5 seconds as listed by Ford on the road can we do 0 to 100 on this in Baja mode let's go let's try I've launched the car I'm launching a pickup truck that's a good it is oh oh yeah slipping and sliding oh yeah okay guys 0 to 100 is not possible on this road uh, are you scared are you this is the ultimate plaything this just this will just conquer any terrain look I want to go there okay 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 I will take you there here no problem I want to go here I want to go there no problem on this car it will just do anything and everything you want it to do any terrain anywhere it will just conquer it so you see this off-road compass monitor the angle of the wheels it's showing everything yeah this car knows and there's an auto terrain select mode where it will shift the car to the best driving condition I like Baja I need to pick up Sadi he's there waiting for me oh he wants to take a shot hi Sadi this is what I do best I love cars I love reviewing them I love sliding them drifting them I mean who thought my Friday could be this fun and now we will climb back up no problem no problem morning Mosha but that won't stop us from reviewing so I'm in the back seat and for a pickup truck there's it's not bad there's, there's room at the back and so motamoti premium you have a power outlet and you have a laptop charging outlet here wow a full laptop charging outlet here or any big equipment there are pockets here to keep your stuff they've thought about a lot of things a case fold down for you can take additional cargo ford has thought about their stuff look at all the mosquitoes hello this car just works for me i would buy this car in a heartbeat i don't have the money right now but if I did, I would buy this car in a heartbeat. Okay, guys, I enjoyed shooting this episode. We hope you enjoyed it too. Comment on what you want us to do next. We will be doing more interesting cars and regular cars. So just let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Give a like. If you don't like, give a dislike. And then share this video with your friends. This is me, Avi Kanura, signing out. Take care, drive safe. Have a great day.